Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septaria 18. I made these really cute uh, clear window pockets and tuck spots and I think these uh, project ID would be great to add to your journals. And as most of you know, I love making pockets and just little uh, pockets where you could add some ephemeras, tags and just some cute little goodies. So I did make these using uh, cardstock and to make the clear window i did use um, let me just show you i made it with uh these clear self sealing bags that you can purchase in your uh, craft store or in the party section of uh, your department stores and i just use uh these clear bags um you could also use let me just show you the other stuff you could use so also if you have these packaging from your um your items you can just use the clear packaging to make the window as well uh, so these are some of the other ones so keep these uh to the side don't throw your packaging sleeves you can make these to make the clear windows and that's what i had used uh, for these ones so you can see it's got a clear let me just grab so you can see so you can see there's a clear window through where you can see your tags and your goodies so that's what i use but you could also use um patterned clear self seal bags or um this is a larger one you could use some vellum if you want to use some vellum paper or the plastic sleeves where you uh, place your a4 papers in you could also cut using these and we can just cut it to size so anything that has a clear sheet is uh, perfect to make the window so that's what i use i'm going to use these uh, one of these pieces of the clear self seal bag so i'm going to show you how you could make these as well but let me show you the ones that i made first and i just had so much fun collaging and embellishing the front of the pocket so this one actually is a pocket let me just open this up so you can see so it just goes in there like that and it just looks so pretty i made them all in neutral color tones and i thought that just gives it a nice clean look to the uh, pocket um, i didn't do any distressing i just kept it uh, nice and simple so that's just another way to create your pocket and make a little clear window and this is another one so i did use some of the um, pieces from your creative studio september box and i think also the august box to collage the pocket as well and these this cute little tag is also from your creative studio uh, box as well so that's another one uh, this is another one as well slightly smaller so you can make these in any size you like you can fit these into your journals or if you're into junk journaling or vintage shabby theme you can make it in this sort of a theme or any kind of uh, papers you like and this one here is a smaller one so cute i love cute little tiny pockets and then i did add some trim to this one and some worse sentiments and this is a a washi stamp that I place in the front and I just like the way you could still see through your pocket and uh, these ones I have here aren't uh, they're not like pockets but they're like a window window uh, tuck pocket so this is just one of them that I made and this is the smaller size this is another one and I think these are great too. You just use your scrap uh, card cardstock. You could use your uh, tea or coffee dye stained paper to um, also make these uh, pockets, and then you just add your window. So these um, these window these tuck spots would be great. So I've got here um, again. I still haven't made my junk journal, but you could add these. For example, these little ones. You could just add it to your page. And you just adhere the two sides, the side and the bottom, and then you'll be able to create like a little tuck pocket inside your page there. And you can still be able to peek through. So that makes a cute little tuck pocket. 
or you could just adhere it with the three sides down here to create a pocket there as well so that's another way you could do that now also it, it can be a little bit tight if you glue the three sides you can see there's not enough room i'm going to create one of the pockets with the gusset so that there's room for it to open up so all you're going to do if you're having to make just the one sheet you just grab two pieces of strips of paper like this um, not too wide this is probably about three quarter of an inch wide and then you fold it in half and then you're going to adhere it to the uh, side here which i'll show you um, shortly how i'm going to do the gusset because i find that they're just a little too tight to be able to get in there but you could also just grab like a um, bone folder and just sort of slide it in there just to give it a bit of movement just to open it up a bit and that might help as well just to give you a bit of an opening but i'm going to make one with the gusset on the side so it's easy to add more extra pieces in there so i'm just showing you how you could also make these as a little tuck spot is another one just think it looks really cute like that so that's another one and this one here is a longer piece if you have a larger journal you could place it uh, like that and again just uh, glue the three sides down and if you have a larger pocket or a larger window pocket there like that so that's just another way to do that just place this back in here and so I just sort of show you these cute little windows using the clear uh, sheet so I'm gonna make these now and put one together so I'll make one as a pocket and I'll also make one as just a single sheet with the clear uh, window so let's go ahead and I'll make one of these ones first because it's um, easy to make so again you just grab any of whatever paper you like to use and um, whatever size you want and you're going to grab your uh, preferred clear sheet so this is one of the clear wrapping self seal bags that i have so i'm going to use one of those this is a little bit thicker than uh, some of the other ones that i have which will be perfect and then you just need a few pieces of your uh, little scrap papers or whatever you like to decorate your pocket so all I'm going to do to make this one here I've got this little piece of paper that I had torn with um, a ruler just to give it a distressed edge look and I'm just going to tear sort of in about that far in and just keep tearing till you get to where you like to be how or however wide you want your window and you just sort of want to create like a U shape so just like that and then this little piece you could use this later on to add to make some paper clusters so that's how i've done mine so it's like a little u-shape and you can keep tearing if that's not big enough so that's all i've done there and this is the clear sheet and i'm just going to cut it just enough to cover the window It doesn't matter how it looks because you're not really going to see the uh let me just grab i don't have a dark piece of paper so you can see but i'm hoping you can see the clear so that's going to go at the back like that and you just want to have a look and make sure that there's enough room for you to adhere the clear sheet to the back of your uh cover and then we can trim the top part later so now i'm just going to glue the edge making sure I get right to the top of the pocket then I'm just going to drop and place the clear sheet above it on top and then I can just turn this back around this way and then I'm just going to trim off all the excess uh, plastic So you can see now I'll just place this there so you can see so there is a window there now and then you just have fun decorating it and um, add your little bits and pieces to the little 
slider pocket or tuck pocket so i'm just going to quickly uh, decorate this one and these lovely little textured paper there's like tissue paper i think or um it's nice and soft these were also from the your creative studios uh september subscription box and then i'm just going to tear a little piece of this just going to embellish the front and i'm just going to place it properly on this side so i'm just going to do that And I've got this little piece, which I might not waste that, and I might even add that over here. And I'm also going to add... These are great. These are like a washi, it's a washi tape, but they've got these bow stamps on there. You can just peel them off and then tear it. It's, they look like little stamps. So I might place this one. Here, yeah, well, I will just tear this up a little bit. So that's looking pretty nice. And I'll just add a little word. Just to finish it off and I'll just place that there and that finishes off my little window tuck pocket. It's really easy to make and again you can just use you can use a music sheets you could use dictionary pages you can use your digital prints whatever you like to create the uh, frame and then you just add your uh, tear it up to however big you want your window and then cut a piece of your clear sheet so this is pretty much done so that's another one that i've made so now i'm going to make a pocket and i'm going to make it with the gusset on the side because i want it to make one so this is just cardstock. I'm not. I'm just using some white cardstock, and then I did cut it out, and I did distress the edges with um, a pair of scissors, which I'm just going to do here and distress the two edges up here, so you can see how I do it. I do have a distressing tool, but I don't have it on me. So I'm just going to. Again, you just uh, make your pocket to whatever size you like. So I've done that. Now I'm just going to do is fold it in half. And again, do the same thing as I had done with the window pocket. I'm just going to open up one side and I'm going to tear the front to create a window. project so there we have a window and now I'm just going to cut a piece of uh, some clear sheet for the window I'm just gonna making sure that there's enough room in there I'll turn it around this way so I'll just cut this out 
So I'll glue this down. So now I might just trim off the excess bit that's on the top. you could see that so there we have a window pocket in the front so I'm going to go ahead and create a gusset here so if you don't want a gusset all you need to do is just glue these two sides down and then bring it up and press it down and then you will have a pocket uh, like this one here and then just sort of um, put something in here to give it a bit of movement but because it's too tight like I have this one here it's a little too tight I'm going to create a gusset. So I've got these two little strips here that I had. Um, again, I think I cut that at three quarter of an inch. And then the height is, it just depends on how high your pocket is. And then I'll just trim off the extra piece. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. And fold the other one as well. And I want to slide that inside like that and adhere it so with this one here like I had mentioned if you're having a single uh, piece and you want to create this as a pocket in your page but it's a little too tight I just let me grab, I'll just grab all these sheets so let's say you want that there but it's going to be too tight all you're going to do is you're going to add your two strips to the side like that and adhere it and then the bottom part doesn't need to be a, It'll just stay as is and then you're going to trim off the excess glue the other side and you're going to place it onto your pocket uh, onto your page like that once those parts are cut out and then you'll see that you'll be able to have a bit more room on the inside for um for more uh more tags or more ephemeras in there so that's just another way to do that but I'm going to place it on the pocket. So again, I'm just going to glue one side first. And I'll do the other side. Now what I'll do is I'll go over the other side now and glue the back of the other one. And then just press it all down along the sides and make sure they all line up nicely. So there is my window pocket and then you can see now there is more room to um, place your little bits and pieces in there as well. So you can see that um, this one has a wider pocket and this one is just a little bit of a tighter fit. So you can just decide what, what will suit you best, what you like to do. So that's how I've done mine and now I can just finish off and decorate the front which I'll do now quickly and I might just use some trim as well for this one. So again I'm just going to test some more of this really lovely paper. I love this paper. I like how it's got these cute little specks of uh, colours in there as well. And it's easy to uh, to glue down 
onto paper. Again, I'll just use this piece and I might even place that down here. So now I'm going to grab a piece of this tree. I might place that there. I made the card spore using the envelope punch board as well, so I could keep my trim all together. So I might place that there. Just trim this off. Okay, so that looks nice there. And I might even grab I might grab something from one of these. Again, this is from uh September. Oh no, this is the November uh sorry the August subscription box from your creative studio. These are lovely. I haven't used these yet. These are like uh, vellum stickers. I might use this script on this side, I think. This one here. So I'm just going to cut this out. I'll place it there. And you just peel off the back can be a little bit tricky to separate it so just sorry about this I'll get there here we go okay and one sec let me go off camera and just grab I've got a special tool if you know of any other easy way to peel off a backing of these sort of stickers leave a comment below i will get there here we go i've got it so i'm just going to place that about there so that looks nice and i might even just use the leftover piece might even just place that here. So that looks nice there. So that looks cute and pretty. And I'm just going to grab a faux stamp. I might use this red one. So if I like to use another one, I just peel it off and just place the one I don't want back onto the washi tape because it will still peel off easily for next time. So I'm just place that there. And let's throw in a word sentiment. This is one here. Keep smiling. And I might just put that on that side. And that would be enough for me to finish off this cute little window pocket. How cute is that? Isn't that just so cute? So this is just another fun way to use those little plea seal bags or you can use any of your other, you can use vellum as well if you like. So this is uh, just another project idea for you. Um, if you want to add these to your pages and your journaling 
or you want to just gift a cute little a gift with a cute little pocket so i uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, making these cute little windows and i hope to see you all soon in my next video bye for now